Hi, and welcome back to Temple Baptist Church Online Devotion. I'm glad that you're with me today. Um, hopefully, you're watching this, and we are into February. Um, t- hopefully, today is February the 1st, and you're watching this. And um, for the month of February, I'm going to be looking at verses that deal with love. There are a lot of verses in the Bible that talk about God's love and that talk about the love that we should have for God, the love that we should have for others. And so over the course of this month, uh, we're going to be looking at some of those verses. And we're going to start out with the verse, John 3.16. It's a verse that each one of you probably are already aware of. Many people around the world know what this verse is. Even people that are um, non-believers in Christ um, oftentimes have read or heard this particular verse of the Bible. And so it's a great place for us to start. Let me read it to you. And then I've got just a few comments about it. The Bible says here in the book of John, uh, chapter three, verse 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who has not believed is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. When we look at this, the very first thing that stands out is for God so loved the world. That helps us to understand that God loved the world beyond what men can understand, beyond what they could even imagine. Imagine God being in heaven with his son, Jesus, who is also in heaven with him, and loving creation enough, a creation that um, is disobedient to him, a a creation that um, is sinful in every way, a creation that is spiritually dead to him, a creation that doesn't search for him or try to know him or try to know his ways. And yet his love is so large for his creation that he makes a plan to send his son into the world so that his son can be the sacrifice the atoning sacrifice, the payment for the sins of all men. That is love, that you're willing to give up your own child. I don't know if I'd ever be willing to give up my own child for somebody else, but God was willing to give up his son in the way that he knew him at that time for the well-being, for the benefit, for the eternal salvation of all people that would come to believe and trust in him. People are not saved simply because God chooses to condemn them. People are not saved, it says there in verse 18, because they've never believed upon and put their faith in Jesus Christ as God's son and as the salvation for man's sin. That's part of the love of God, that he makes it possible for us to be saved from the consequence of our sin. And that salvation occurs in Jesus Christ, his son. For God so loved the world, you and me, our parents, our grandparents, our children, our grandchildren, our neighbors, our friends, our colleagues, the people that we bump into at the grocery store. For God has so loved all of mankind that he sent his only begotten son that whoever would believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Here at Temple Baptist Church, we pray, we hope that you have put your faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, and that you're able to experience the great love that God has for you. If not, we encourage you to come and join us here. We have services on Sunday at 8 a.m. and at 10 a.m. and on Sunday night at 6 p.m. And we'd love to help you understand what it means to have faith in Christ so that you could experience God's great love. God bless you. I hope that you'll like and share this video with others so that they might be blessed by it as well. I'll see you next time.